Investors are finally seeing the biggest dip in the stock market that we've seen for over a month now. And with this dip, there are of course some high quality dividend paying stocks on sale, but the question is which ones are they? Stay tuned to find out. Real quick for those that haven't already, make sure to go to the first link in my description and grab my new dividend investing ebook where I share exactly how I went from $0 invested to now earning over $6,000 on a monthly basis and over $1 million invested in the market. Along with the ebook, you're also going to receive my custom dividend tracker where you can track your dividend progress on an ongoing basis and reach your dividend investing goals. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today it's the first link in my description now the first dividend paying stock that could be offering a buying opportunity and keep in mind all these stocks we're going through could be a buying opportunity because they are offering a larger than normal dividend yield which in theory could allow investors to lock in a great starting yield and sail off into the wind. But the first dividend paying stock that I'm actually a holder of that could be offering a buying opportunity is ticker symbol ENB or Enbridge. Now, if you want exposure to energy, oil, gas, storage, and transportation, there are going to be a few names in this video that could be offering a buying opportunity. And unless I'm mistaken, I own all of them. But Enbridge is offering a starting yield of 7.89% which as you can see right here, if you look a little bit closely, this is the highest dividend yield towards the higher end that we've seen in the last five years. Now, Enbridge dividend safety score, according to Simply Safe Dividends, is a 70, so the dividend is relatively safe. Enbridge is currently trading in the mid 30s, so not the cheapest that we've seen over the past few years, but it is creeping down to that layer. Now, Enbridge is pretty low beta at 0.71%, which I love as a long-term dividend growth investor. I don't love seeing my portfolio whipsaw on a daily basis. As far as dividend growth goes, Enbridge, although offering a nice starting yield, has historically offered some decent dividend growth, at least over the last 20 years, we're talking 11% per year. On top of that, Enbridge has 28 years of consecutive increases, 71 years in a row without a reduction, so this oil dividend stock should be safe unless we see some crazy black swan events. The next dividend paying stock that could be offering a buying opportunity also in the energy and oil and gas storage transportation space is TRP or TC Energy. Now I've owned this one for a while, I think I just have a few shares but it hasn't really done me wrong since. TC is offering a 7.84% forward yield. Dividend safety score is a little bit lower than that of Enbridge. Also is very low beta. And as far as dividend growth goes, there is some dividend growth, although it's pretty slow, which is sort of what you can expect from some of these higher starting yielders. But as far as dividend safety goes, all we have is history to go off of. We have 23 years without a reduction and 23 years of growth, which I honestly don't think is bad whatsoever. As far as dividend increase cadence, we're looking at around three cents every year or so, which again is not terrible considering you're getting almost an 8% starting yield. So if you, of course, want exposure to energy, this one could be offering a buying opportunity. Next, one of my largest holdings, Verizon, is, all, is also possibly offering a buying opportunity. Even though Verizon has came back a little bit over the last year, it still is offering a 6.7% starting forward yield. And investors, including myself, are hoping that most of the pain that Verizon has felt over the last year, year and a half is at least hopefully over. Now, Verizon's dividend safety is a 70 on the safety score. Relatively safe dividend, probably not the safest across the entire market, though. Verizon trading in the sub $40 range, though, is too cheap for some investors to pass up. I've been seeing across Twitter. Some of the dividend community has been grabbing some shares of Verizon. Verizon's beta is very low at 0.42%, which is one of the main reasons on why I actually purchased a substantial portion of Verizon years ago. But as far as dividend growth goes, Verizon's dividend growth is very slow. Although it has been pretty consistent, we have 40 years of uninterrupted dividends and 17 years of dividend increases, but every dividend raise is only around a few cents. So you're probably not going to get substantially rich off the dividend increases with Verizon. But if you are looking to build out sort of a riskier, in my opinion, communication position in a single low beta name, Verizon could be one to look into. The next dividend stock that could be offering a massive buying opportunity, train towards the lower end of what we've seen in a long time now, is PFE or Pfizer. Now, I owned Pfizer way back in the day. I since sold it a while back and haven't owned any shares of Pfizer since. But as far as yield goes, we have a 6.5% forward yield, which is massive considering what we've seen historically out of this one. So investors could look back and say that was a horrible investment if they bought some shares of PFE, or they could look back and say this was an accidental high yielder, which was a gold mine. But trading the $25 range, this is back to where this one traded years ago. 75 in the safety score, so the dividend is said to be pretty safe as of right now. Very low beta at 0.38%. Dividend growth is pretty slow, 5% over the last 20 years, 4% over the last 5 years. And then it says that recently we're seeing very, very tiny increases, about a penny. We have 13 years without a reduction and 13 years with consecutive increases. This is one to definitely keep on your watch list. The next dividend stock that could be offering a buying opportunity is WP Carry or ticker symbol WPC. 
WPC is offering a 6.29% forward yield, a 70 on the safety score. WP Carry has been in my portfolio for a few years now. And although if you're familiar with this one, they did do that office spinoff, which did drop the dividend significantly, but you were of course given shares of the new spinoff, which I honestly wasn't really that big of a fan of. But all in all, WPC's portfolio is pretty bulletproof and is definitely a read to look into. But if you want more exposure to real estate, I think it's definitely worth having on the watch list. The next single stock that's on sale as of right now, in my opinion, is Realty Income Ticker Sim Below, offering a 5.93% forward yield, a dividend safety score of an 80. Realty Income's dividend is about as safe as it comes, if you ask me. Realty Income is one of my largest positions. I've owned Realty Income for several, several years now. I own well over 2,800 shares. Realty Income has a low beta. Dividend growth is sort of slow, around 3% more or less per year. But Realty Income's dividend streak is without a doubt very impressive, 55 years without a reduction, we have 29 years of consecutive increases, and the monthly paying dividend stock has some of the best properties across the entire world in their portfolio. Ticker symbol low has been on my daily watch list for years now and will continue to be. The next single stock that could be offering a buying opportunity, another REIT, is Triple N or Triple N REIT. Now, Triple N's also been in my portfolio for several years now. It's sort of maybe my second or third favorite REIT after Realty Income. With this one trading in the low 40s, offering a 5.54% forward yield, the dividend is considerably safe, the beta is very low, and the, and the dividend growth is somewhat similar to other REITs. But with Triple N's 34 years of consecutive increases and 36 years without a reduction, this is another one where you are getting exposure to super high quality real estate, if that's of course what you're looking for. And speaking of super high quality real estate, PSA or public storage is also on sale right now, offering a 4.41% forward yield, dividend safety 96, which is super impressive. PSA's dividend growth has been massive on the last few years, and in the last few years, investors saw that firsthand. PSA does have 43 years without a reduction, and if you want exposure to high quality self-storage spaces, PSA is definitely one to look into. The final last single name that is offering a buying opportunity potentially is Bristol Myers or ticker symbol BMY. BMY offering a 4.97% forward yield, dividend safety is there at a 70. Dividend growth is actually not all that bad with a 5 to 7% dividend growth rate on the latest year slash the last 5 years. Bristol Myers has been beat up quite a bit over the last 1.5 years and has been on my watch list although at this point I haven't myself grabbed any shares. So there we have it, those are nine different dividend paying stocks that are offering a potential buying opportunity as of right now, as the market is continued to be shaken up. Out of all the different single names we went through in this video, if you only had to buy one, say today or tomorrow, which stock would it be and why? Drop the ticker symbol in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like on it, subscribe for more videos like this in the future, and make sure to go down below and grab my dividend tracker and ebook today. Thanks as always for stopping by and if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.